It's really good to be with you all this morning, uh, whether you're watching us live or you're watching it later in the day, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you find us, um, I'm glad that you're with us. Turn in your Bibles, if you would, to 1 Samuel chapter 18. Uh, we're going to be reading in verses 1 to 4 today, and uh, really we're going to be pulling out just one small detail from a larger section. Sometimes we look at large sections of text and sometimes we look at uh, small sections and and this is uh, what we're going to do today. We've of course just completed three days of walking through uh, the 17th chapter as David and Goliath have their battle and we see David really move into his place of, of prominence. He's not the leader of Israel yet, uh, politically at least. We could say he's becoming the um, maybe social, emotional, or moral leader of Israel. We're going to see in his military victories uh, that really he becomes the man that everyone's praising over Saul, which is going to drive Saul uh, to even greater anger and uh, distrust of David. But I want to focus on uh, a relationship between David and Jonathan that will come up later, uh, but we're just going to read uh, those few verses about that. Good morning, John. It's good to see you this morning. So in 1 Samuel 18, verses 1 to 4, When David had finished speaking with Saul, Jonathan was bound to David in close friendship and loved him as much as he loved himself. Saul kept David with him from that day on and did not let him return to his father's house. Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as much as himself. And then Jonathan removed the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his military tunic, his sword, his bow, and his belt. What I simply want us to see today in Jonathan and David's relationship, again, that we'll see more detail later, but what I want us to see is the essential importance of friendship. True and genuine friendship. And let's, be re let's, let's look at reality. Let's be real. Most of the people that we call our friends, it's more of a superficial relationship. Very few of us have very many uh, real and deep relationships. And I think that's one of the major issues, one of the reasons we have so many problems in our world, in our country, and in our church. David and Jonathan, we read here that Jonathan loved David just like he loved himself. Are there people that you can say that about? Maybe the reason we struggle with so many things is we don't allow people to love us in that, in that way. We don't allow people to be friends. Look at what Jonathan does for David. He gives him his tunic, his coat, his military clothes. He gives him his sword and his bow and his arrow. He's not only honoring David, but he's making himself vulnerable and reliant upon David for protection. We need to be in close, intimate relationships with fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to the point that we uh, honor them, that we give them our best, and that we allow ourselves to be open and vulnerable in a way that could lead to destruction. Because that's the only way we can have true friendship and true relationship that will strengthen us. And we're going to see later that Jonathan's friendship is essential to David even surviving Saul's anger and Saul's outbursts. So let's be friends. Let's be real friends. Let's love each other as Christ loved us. Let's forgive each other as Christ forgives us. Let's be vulnerable as Christ opened himself up to people to be vulnerable, even to the point that he was betrayed by one of his closest followers. Father, we thank you for this, uh, this morning, this opportunity to see in your word the need and the great uh, uh, necessity of friendship. Let us be friends. Let us love. Let us be vulnerable so that we can grow with others. Help us to be close, that we might show your love in this world, that we might be strengthened by each other, and that you might be able to work through our friendships and through our relationships to the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, yeah, Lyle, we're glad that you did make it today. 
Hey, let me just say to those of you that could not join us for our Zoom prayer meeting uh, yesterday evening, we had an incredible time. Uh, it, was, it was an encouragement to me and I know an encouragement to, to many others. So I hope that you'll join us uh, next Wednesday as, as, as we pray together. hope that you'll join us tomorrow as we look at the next passages in 1 Samuel. And hope that you'll join us Sunday at 1045, whether in person or here on Facebook for our live worship service. Have a blessed day. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. I love you. Bye.